So, stitching. Of course, there are a lot of great tools in Modo to add stitches to your objects, but they create a lot of geometry once you freeze the replicators, and you can end up with even millions of polygons just for stitches. That's also the case if you import stitching from a Marvelous Designer, for instance. In Modo 15, we can now use normal maps with the Curve Particle Generator. Stitch Map is a series of presets that take advantage of that new feature with highly detailed textures that can give you a very realistic result with an organic touch thanks to the power of the shadow tree. So let's see how it works. So you need a mesh, of course, and you need a curve preferably in a separate uh, layer. And then you go under Kids, Stitch Map is here, and you can drag out this little palette. And first you're gonna choose your preset. So click on this, you can drag this out also. For... And I'm gonna use this preset, so double click on it to load it into the scene. You can turn this off. Then you select your target mesh. If you don't, you're going to get a warning message. And you click on Stitch It. Now you create the name for your particle generator. So let's call it my Stitch. It can be anything you'd like. And then choose your curve mesh. And the first setup is done. So let's go to the render. So you'll see in the shadow tree, you have now a group called My Stitch. Put it above your base surface and you have your stitch. This group contains the, all the maps and the material for the stitch. That's where you're going to change everything, all the settings here to your liking. And all these maps share the same texture locator, so clicking on any of them will access those settings. And you go into the texture locator tab, that's where you're going to change the particle size and the rotation. In the item list, you have now a curve particle generator with my stitch name also. And that has two tabs for settings. This is where you're going to set the distance. So in this case, we can lower it, for instance. Make them a little closer. There we go. And this control tab is where you're going to set the axis and this randomized tab here, which can be very useful to give it a more organic look. Like for instance, just change the distribution up and down to make it a little more. And then this axis is where you change the orientation, so you can reverse it or change the direction, see what works for you. And then you're basically done with it. And what's great is that uh, if you already have a normal map on your base material, it really blends in perfectly. And now when you're done, you can just bake the whole uh, result. Of course, you need a, a UV map. So just select your target object and its UV map. You can bake the normal. Select any of the normal textures, right click, make to file. Normal, choose the size. Then mix up the result. You see, you have your normal map combining uh, both. You can also 
layer the stitches together. So for instance, I'm going to add another preset, double click. Make sure my target mesh is selected and then stitch it. I call it single, choose the same curve. And now I have both. And I can just uh, decide which one goes on top. Let's do it like this. And here I'm just going to adjust the spacing also a bit. And now you have both. In the presets you have uh, what I've called bumps. So let's for instance add this uh, fold, double click, stitch it, still the same curve. Now you're going to see it's pretty small right now so I'm going to change the particle size oh, and also the fold needs to be between your base and the um, and your top stitch which is uh, logical so I'm going to change the size here same thing so I'm going to make it quite bigger and maybe even more and then uh, in the curve particle generator tab just the distance of the touch yeah that's good and then you have a fold and a stitch you can disable the ambient occlusion if you just want the fold i think it looks good with it or you can the texture layer you can change the, the opacity to make it uh, lighter up to you so i mentioned in the intro the organic look that you can get with this i'm going to show you what i mean so i have a very simple setup with a cylinder and a curve I made this like jeans like texture with the procedural textures here. And I applied this uh, preset, double stitch with the bulge in the middle. And I'm going to add a notch texture, not here. I'm going to put it between the base and the stitch group. And I'm going to change its uh, effect to texture offset. Nothing happens yet. If you go in the shadow in the stitch group and go into the texture locator, you have a setting here, texture offset strength, and you can change it, use very low values, like let's do it with the one first. And you see the black and white is affecting the waviness. So maybe this is a bit too big, so we can add to texture noise and maybe reduce the size to something like this. And then the effect then is too big, so we change the strength to 0.5, for instance. And uh, there you go. In stitch map, you have several presets that uh, have a double stitch, but there are times where you're going to want to control exactly the distance between the two lines. So in that case, let's start with a single here and stitch it and call this stitch one on my curve above here and now I'm going to add another one 
you see, so double click again. Stitch it, and I call this ST2. Same curve. Okay, so right now they are on top of each other, and I want to have two lines. The way to change that is that you'll see you have your two particle curve particle generators here, but you also have two folders that contain the also actually contain the texture locator and the two modifiers for the particle. Particle snap is the one that helps uh, snapping to the uh, surface. And the one you want to change is the particle modifier here. And you're going to change the distance from the curve in this uh, area. So Y you don't want to touch. X and Z are the two values you want to adjust. Now it all depends on your forward axis here. So my forward axis is X. So when I go to the particle modifier, if I want to move to the side, I want to use move the Z axis. If I want to change the forward axis to Y, see my distance is going up not to the side anymore. I would have then to move the X to change that. But then you have your, your line and you can, uh, of course, adjust it. One thing about uh, baking, if you don't have a um, normal map on your base surface, when you bake, you are going to need one. So the way to do it is to add a um, constant color and change the color. Go to the linear here and change the settings to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and one, and change the effect to normal and then you can bake the whole stack if you don't have that it's not going to work also second thing to know if you want to duplicate any of those maps for another effect use an instance not a duplicate a duplicate is going to create a new texture locator is going to break the whole setup 